Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. We're in overdrive. And we've been talking this entire show about the situation in Nevada at the Bundy Ranch. This is about a lot more than just one story. If you can understand the broad principles involved, that's what's really important. It's about a government that is regulating businesses out of existence without any representation. Have you ever voted for any BLM officials on your ballots? Have you ever voted for any IRS officials on your ballots? How about the EPA or the Fish and Wildlife or OSHA? Do they ever answer to us? No, this is regulation without representation. It is taxation without representation. The legislature, the Congress has abrogated their, or has abdicated rather, their authority and given it to these bureaucracies. They're allowing them to write the laws, to enforce the laws in a way where we don't have a presumption of innocence, where it's a military martial law situation. They've allowed them to do this. We cannot allow this to continue. We cannot allow them to continually encroach upon our rights. And the also the, the story that we see here at the Bundy Ranch is that we can stand up to them in mass and we can take back our individual rights. Now, we were talking to uh, callers who had just called in. We had Worth from North Carolina on the line. We had to uh, cut for the end of the show. Worth, go ahead. Get right to uh, what you wanted to say. Oh, I just wanted to say, if God could have picked anybody in the world, and this was the last man standing, Cliven Bundy, man, I mean, yes. he couldn't have been a better person because he's so moral. And all these, watching those hundred cowboys lined up on horses with a thousand people behind them, and they had guns, and they didn't shoot nobody because they were taking the moral ground. And I just loved it. It was like watching the best Western movie I've ever seen in my life. It brought tear to, tears to my eyes when I saw it. Uh, is right after the uh, sheriff gave his uh, his PR ploy there from the the uh, BLM, and uh, they had a whole bunch of mounted cowboys right in from either side, and uh, one went straight up the hill, planted the flag. It was great, and these guys stood them down without using weapons, as you pointed out. That's the way we need to do it. We can do it if we stand together. Let's go to Richard in Oregon. Richard, go ahead. Yeah, I hey, think. And you guys, I'm glad you were out there and you got people organized. That's the, you know, what you say, that's the way to do it. Uh, not has to be violence, but you have to have everybody stand up, united, in force. Yes, absolutely. And they back, and, and they back down and they were very much afraid of, even though people were not uh, pointing weapons at them, they were very much afraid. I, I genuinely do believe that they were trying a feint, that they were trying to deceive people with the announcement that the sheriff came up there, but they were not expecting the crowd of people to go down and confront them at those barricades. And even though they were fully armed, armored, and hiding behind their cars, they were very much afraid of the crowd. That was a very empowering moment need to understand that we can walk this down. We have to know what they're doing. We have to know that we're in the right. Go ahead. Was there anything else you wanted to say, Richard Morgan? Yeah, and the thing you have to be careful of is, it's like guys saying, this could be just a trick. Okay, they de-escalate, get you relaxed, then they try another action, especially you got to watch that with like, uh, that's also like a very common Chinese tactic. I mean, like years oh, yeah. ago, they yeah. built these Absolutely. places Absolutely. on these I'm going to cut you short because I want to get to uh, Chad in California and Stacy in Wisconsin. We understand it was it was simply a battle, but there was a victory. We need to uh, be excited about that. Go ahead, uh, Chad in California. Hey, um, yeah, I, he was incredible and a really good role model in the sense that he carried on the statement before. He just didn't say, okay, I'm complying, you need to comply. He gave demands back, and it's the yes. same thing that we need to do with uh, example with the police if you get uh, involved with the police and they stop you everybody's heard the fact that am i being detained officer why do we stop there we have to actually confront these people and, and give them good and, and make them give good reason officer am i being detained i need a yes 
or a no. If you answer any other way, I'm going to assume that I'm not being detained and Absolutely. I'm on my way. You know, uh, uh, we're out of time. But that's I'm sorry, Stacy in Wisconsin. We're not going to be able to get to you. Call back tomorrow. We'll try to take you early. But he did not have the attitude of a slave. He gave them orders based on what their duties were. That's the attitude we need to have. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of the toxic of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their